What's up, y'all? Slime Green Beats. Welcome to the video. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to life. Welcome to me talking. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a guitar melody in FL Studio. So this is how to make a guitar melody. And it's going to be completely from scratch. Like, I'm actually going to play it. I'm not going to, like, get a loop or anything. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it with stock plugins as well. So how to do it for free in FL Studio. If you have the producer edition or the uh, signature edition, I think you can do this on the trial too. Not really sure. I haven't, I haven't used the trial in like seven, eight years. So I don't really know. But um, yeah, this is how you make a guitar melody. So I'd say there's two primary free places to get it. That's number one, Flex. You'll see, uh, you can download, go here and download like the free, I already download all um, guitars here. Essential guitars, essential. That's a word I like to use too. Um, and then there's also Citrus, which I'm a fan of Citrus as a free plugin because it had, gives you a lot of presets. I think the key to a good uh, melody is presets and just being patient, selecting the right sound. That's really the key. Um, and I think there's like an entire section dedicated to guitar. Yeah, you'll see guitar here. So there's a couple here. I'll go through these and then I'll go through the ones in Flex. I just go down the preset list until I find one that I like. And I just mess with the keys. I'm just pressing random stuff. Seeing what sounds good, you know. Actually, this ain't bad, to be honest with you. And I try to get that pace. And I try to get that exact BPM. So like, it's kind of slow, but uh, I prefer a faster, faster paced melody. But such is life. Uh, let's see. Is that? I can't tell if that's a third beat or half beat. I think that's third. So, so it's a third. So I select half beat here on the magnet, so I can record it right, and then just hit play. Ready? Obviously, this doesn't sound like totally like a, how you would play guitar, but honestly, like I think it sounds good. And um, <laughs> if it sounds good, it stays, fam. If it sounds good, it stays. That's like a good rule of thumb for FL. Like, don't try to like overcomplicate the situation. Oh, this was in fourths. Whoops, I was wrong actually. Uh, interesting. Okay. Ah, uh, I see why I do that in thirds. It's, it's, like, it's kind of hard to do that in your head sometimes. I'm human. So yeah, I actually should have recorded that on fourth beat. In fact, I might record it again, but I think it's in there pretty much. If I just edit it like that. I like how this guitar VST sounds. It sounds kind of like natural, actually. It almost sounds like I'm really playing it. That's a good, that's a good, that's good. Like, you kind of want that. It has, like, a weird, like, clicking sound. That, like, if you play guitar, you know, like, your fingers, like, weirdly get involved. Which, I'm pretty sure most of you watching this play guitar. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a guitar fan, definitely. Play electric and the, uh... Now I'll try to add some variation throughout. If I could just add any variation to the second part, that'd be perfect. I'm trying to think how I can make it fit. Mm -hmm. 
and look, look how I did that. Sometimes I like to add cool parts in there. I don't even know if that fits actually. Kind of doesn't fit at all actually. Now I think about it. I have to add stuff like that. That's good, right there, perfect. And I add a little bit of humanization, randomizer, alt R. I just add a touch of the randomizer, might even pan it a little tad, a taddy. What I'm also gonna do is um, take it off the grid, and by that I mean like we take it off the grid, like it's like not hitting exactly on beat, so it sounds more realistic. So I'll do something like that, which messes with the time signature. This is a funky sounding guitar. We can really end the video right there. I mean, I'll show you some effects, and also like layering. I think is something you should always try, and you know. If you seen other any of my videos, you know I say the same thing, but like try to layer it. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But I would at least try it. And you can layer sounds with like uh it gives it more like it's layering. It gives it like another layer and it just sounds better most of the time. And uh I, I'm gonna try to layer with like a pad because the ARPs in uh citrus aren't very good. So I'm gonna just start up I used ambiance before. See what I'm saying right there? Now it sounds like a deep R&B track. It's actually kind of hard. That was the first one I chose too. Actually, I like that one. I like that on me this one. Yeah. If you head bobbing, keep it going, baby. If you head bobbing, you you doing fine. You doing fine. No matter where you, what skill level you at, you head bobbing, you're having a good time. And, oh yeah, gross beats, try gross beats. And you know, all these are in here. I have these presets up automatically. I suggest you make a template. I, I like doing this. You don't have to do it this way, but like, I like just having these presets I, I, I typically use already up. So I'm gonna show you a uh, Fruity Parametric EQ2. I usually don't use this. Cause I don't like, uh, I don't like cutting. I like, I like letting the melody fly most of the time. Sometimes I cut out the low end, but in this situation, I'm gonna let it fly. Cause I like it, I don't want to mess it up too much. I think it's cool. I'll work around it. Sometimes I turn the volume down a little bit, but that's about it. All right, so let's, we can try something like this. I'm, I'm not gonna do any of these because I like, I like the pattern that much. And I like, I want to keep like the authentic guitar kind of sound like, you know, like, I want to use gross beats on guitar just because like if it's a guitar it's not going to sound like gross beats you know like how did you can't play like that like it's not possible uh unless you're like i'm sure there's the one guy that comments like oh bro i can play like that okay bro and now reverb is used on guitars a lot so like this is the 1k reverb and patcher which is just another pre or effect tool that's free this is 1k reverb over here somewhere. I like this because it has like a very astral kind of vibe. I don't know if it works with this though. Probably won't use it. This is pretty Convolver too, which I like. A lot of different presets here too you could try. A lot, I have not tried all of these. One day I will. One day I'm just gonna go through. Today might be the day, no, not this video. Now, what does this sound like? I like picking and getting the vibe right. Like, where does it sound like? Wherever this is, actually sounds okay. This is the fault. What is this one? The fault? Church clothes? I was gonna say, this kind of sounds like it's in a church. Maybe open? This is hard, dude. I 
like that far effect. That's kind of hard. Oof. It's hard for me to determine between this one. This one might be too much. I like the far ones. It's kind of like sits in the back. Because you do want to leave room for the drums. So that's a nice little effect. I like that. And I'd probably roll with that. That's probably all I would do. Maybe try a love filter. Nah, dude. I'm not a huge fan of Fruity Love Filter, to be honest. But, like, that's a cool effect you can use if you... Like, you'd use this at a part of a beat, like maybe an intro or outro or something like that. And then turn it up. Like, for instance, I could do something like this. Something like, start it off like this. Like, I would go like that. Say we go like that. A little bit like, just for intro. Like, it would start off... Oh, I'm sorry. It should be the other way. Be like... Have like some spoken word, yeah. Ever since the third day I met you, I was like, dang. I never, I never thought that it would end like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's go. This is like a singing type beat. All right, raise your hand. It's hard, man. It's hard for me. This is dope. Yeah, hey, we're vibing. Maybe I'll try to add a bass to this, a bass guitar to the actual guitar, just because guitar and bass guitar go together like peanut butter and jelly, boy. <laughs> yep, that's right, guys. Uh, now, what I would do with this is, let's see here. Make sure it's in its own channel, as in it's not on one. I'll probably put it in two, because I think that's where I have my basses. No, look for a bass. And I would turn down the melody just a little bit. I like to just turn it down here just because um, if you layer it, um, I showed this in the other video, but if you layer it, sometimes this one's at like 116 here. Let's see what this one's at. This one's at, one, they're both at 116. So we could actually turn it down here, which is the proper way, just because they're both actually at the same master level. Sometimes they're not. I would turn the melody down to like, let's turn it down to like 95. We could actually copy that. Like copy value. You can paste it here. Paste value. So we have like the same mix. But turn down. That's the proper way to, to mix and turn down volume. I'm actually to turn it up a little bit. Just because I like this. A little bit. I would do 100. Turn it up. I did like I do like that. But like when you're adding drums, you kinda wanna leave room for the drums. What? I gotta swear is it? Oh see. Let's, let's get on this bass. Let's try the bass. Barely hear the bass. I think for the time being, let's turn down here though so we can actually hear the bass. that in there I like that you can use an 808 might sound good with this too I'll try to use an 808 too
recorded quite poorly. And same thing with the melody. I'll do the same things like randomize, take it off the grid. No, that sounds weird. It's a good vibe. Let's not have it bleed there. Fix that. We can have like a little bit of humanization there. That's cool. Boom, ba, ba, ba. I see what that sounds like. Save it. <clears throat> Guitar type. So that's cool, right? I got that right, right? Make sure they get that right. I like how that one sounded the most. So let's do that one. Dang it. C. And that one there too. Actually, you know what? Dang it. Oh, I should have kept it. It's okay. What, what note was that though? G. Should we get rid of that bleed? Because that bleed sounds weird. And that really does sound weird on bass too, so that's not like something wrong with FL. Like when you lay when you have a bass do that, it does sound weird. Where my bass players at? Alright, so uh, uh add a little bit of randomization with that too. I still feel like I'm hearing bleed. Alright, I'll check that out later. Um, wait a minute though. Alright, let's, let's just get this off the grid. Ah, bass is weird like that. Man, I have to freaking spend half the video doing bass. 
Uh, alright, so... What am I doing here? Oh yeah, off the grid, maybe. Put it like there. And then mix it, you know? Base I would mix. You can do something like that. I'd probably like mess with this. Maybe like a... Sounds weird some parts, but I'll just keep it for the time being. That's it guys, that's how you make a guitar melody in FL Studio 20, bass included, bass guitar, electric guitar, or whatever that first guitar was, it's dope. I might actually redo the bass, I'm not, a, I'm not totally in love with it, I might listen to it later and see if I like it, I might redo it, but so let's just hear the actual melody here, because I feel like this part is hard. I might, I might redo the bass, I'm not a huge fan. Yeah, yeah, this is good. This is actually really good. I don't think the bass is working with it. I don't want to... I'm not going to do another bass in this video. In the video, but... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys check out the How to Make Beats book brought to you by Slime Green Beats. Available on Amazon. Great book for beginner and intermediate beat makers. Yep, yep, yep. And thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Slime Green Beats in the building. Y'all hold it down. Y'all have fun making beats. Peace out.